globe, latitudes and longitudes. It is believed that the earth is spherical in shape. The most suitable way of representing the earth as a whole is by a globe. A globe is a model of the earth on a small size. The globe is mounted on an axis so that it can rotate freely. Study at a glance. Globe, latitudes, longitudes. Globe. Globe is the three-dimensional model of the earth representing the true shape of the earth. On globes, countries, continents and oceans are shown in their correct shape. Distance and directions are also shown correctly on the globe. Positions on the globe On the globe, a line passes right through the middle of the earth. In reality, this line is imaginary and is known as the axis. The earth rotates on its axis. The two ends of the axis are called poles, North Pole and South Pole. The poles are two fixed points on the globe. The axis is inclined at an angle of 66 and a half degrees towards the east. Another imaginary line runs west to east. It divides the earth into two equal parts. This imaginary line is known as the equator. The northern half of the earth is known as northern hemisphere and the southern half is known as the southern hemisphere. Lines which join the north pole and the south pole and run in a north-south direction are called lines of longitudes or meridians. All the lines running parallel to the equator are called parallels of latitude. We can locate a place by intersecting the meridian and parallels of latitude of the place. Latitudes Angular distance from the equator on both sides, north and south, is called latitude. The lines of latitude are the imaginary circles running around the earth parallel to the equator. The equator is the imaginary line which divides the earth into two equal halves, North Pole and South Pole. The equator is numbered as 0 degrees and the pole as 90 degrees. From the equator to the North Pole, there are 90 latitudes. Characteristics of Latitudes All the latitudes are circles running parallel to the equator. The equator is the great circle and all the latitudes become smaller and smaller towards the poles. The pole or 90 degree latitude becomes a point. They run in east-west direction. They help in locating different objects on the ground. They help in understanding the climate of a place. Important latitudes and heat zones. Important latitudes. All the lines of latitudes are parallel to the equator. Hence, they are called parallels of latitudes. Equator is the longest parallel of latitudes. As we move away from the equator, the size of lines or circles of latitudes decrease. The important parallels of latitudes apart from the equator are Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle, Antarctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer. It is the parallel of 23 and a half degrees north in the Northern Hemisphere, Tropic of Capricorn. It is the parallel of 23 and a half degrees south in the Southern Hemisphere, Arctic Circle. It lies at 66 and a half degree north of the equator, Antarctic Circle. 
It lies at 66 and a half degrees south of the equator. Heat zones of the earth. The important zones of the earth are the following. Torrid zone, temperate zone, frigid zone. Torrid zone. It is that part of the earth which lies on both sides of the equator between the Tropic of Cancer, 23 and a half degree north, and the Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and a half degree south. Torrid zone is the hottest part of the earth. This zone receives the maximum amount of heat throughout the year because the rays of the sun fall vertically on this zone. Temperate zone. The temperate zone lies in both the hemispheres. North temperate zone lies in the northern hemisphere between the Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle. South temperate zone lies in the southern hemisphere between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle. The zones are neither too hot nor too cold. Frigid zone. This zone lies around the North Pole within the Arctic Circle, 66 and a half degree north, and around the South Pole within the Antarctic Circle, 66 and a half degree south. Beyond the Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle, temperatures are very low, and the climate is very cold. This is due to the extreme slanting of the sun's rays. Frigid means cold. This is a very cold zone. Longitudes Angular distance from the prime meridian is termed as longitude. Lines joining the North Pole and the South Pole are called the lines of longitude. They are also called meridian because noon occurs at the same time at places located on a line of longitude. Features of longitudes Meridians are equal in length. All the longitudes converge at the poles. The longitude running through Greenwich near London was first chosen as the prime meridian. Prime meridian means chief or main meridian. Having noon at the same time at all places on this line. Prime meridian is the zero degree longitude. It divides the earth into eastern and western hemispheres. They are semicircles. Longitudes are 360 in all, 180 in the east and 180 in the west of prime meridian. 180 degrees east and 180 degrees west is one longitude. Longitudes help us in calculating time of various places on the earth. The distance between longitudes is maximum at the equator and it goes on decreasing towards the poles. Longitudes and time. Longitudes help us to calculate time. Time is measured by the movement of the earth. The earth moves on its axis from west to east. It is called rotation. It takes 24 hours for the earth to complete one rotation. This means in 24 hours the earth completes 360 degrees. Hence it takes about 4 minutes for crossing 1 degree of longitude or it takes 1 hour in crossing 15 degrees of longitude. Accordingly the earth has been divided into 24 time zones of 1 hour each. This means each place has different time of sunrise and sunset. The earth moves from west to east. That is why the time will be ahead of Greenwich in the east and behind Greenwich in the west. Local time. Local time of a place is that time when the sun is exactly above that meridian. Thus, the time calculated by the position of the sun at noon of a given place is called the local mean time. 
all the places located on the same meridian irrespective of their distances will have the same local time places situated east or west of the meridian will have different local times standard time standard time is the local time of a particular meridian which is adopted for the whole of the country and that meridian is called standard meridian for india the local time of 82 and a half degree east longitude is known as standard meridian of india the local time of this meridian is considered standard time for the whole country through an international agreement the local time of all the places is linked to the greenwich mean time gmt network of longitudes and latitudes the lines of longitude and latitude form a network on the globe the longitudes and latitudes intersect each other at right angles forming a grid this network is helpful in locating the different places on the map or globe summary globe is the three dimensional model of the earth representing the true shape of the earth latitudes are imaginary lines running in east west direction longitudes are lines running in north south direction latitudes and longitudes intersect at right angles forming a grid local time of a place is that time when the sun is exactly above that meridian standard time is the local time of a particular meridian which is adopted for the whole country there are as many zones as there are hours in a day these are called time zones